you know, doctors say your results with those at home tests can depend on how you do them. With Omicron, some people are now swabbing more than just the inside of their nose. So tonight, we're getting some sharper insight into whether swabbing your throat as well is also a good idea. One of the other things that's coming out now with the Omicron variant, it turns out that uh, saliva turns out to be even better than, uh, than the swabbing. Uh, so we're losing a little bit of sensitivity there because of the fact that the samples aren't as good as they were with the other uh, variants. In studies like this preprint out of South Africa point to swabbing your throat for saliva because the Omicron variant of the virus is better at attaching to the airway in your lower respiratory tract that connects your windpipe to your lungs. Stand in front of a mirror. Wipe the soft tip of the swab around the back of the throat as shown. Here in the U.S., directions and test kits tell you only to test your nose, but experts in the U.K. have been recommending that you first swab the throat and then the inside of the nostrils. Some epidemiologists here in the U.S. have been recommending the same, in tweets like these, for example, from Michael Mina, an epidemiologist at EMED. However, that is against the FDA's advice. We asked, and a spokesperson told us, that tests should only be used as authorized. Quote, the FDA has noted safety concerns regarding self-collection of throat swabs as they are more complicated than nasal swabs and if used incorrectly can cause harm to the patient. The CDC recommends that throat swabs be collected by a trained health care provider. So if nobody studied it in the throat, then theoretically and potentially there could be something that causes a false positive. 